Thank you, Jesse. My first question is about the location of the fight itself, because you hail from Waterbury, so getting to have a fight with a big opportunity against Julia Budd at Mohegan Sun Arena should be really joyful, but you can't have friends or family there during the pandemic. So is there also some sadness taking this fight? A little bit, but you know what? They're going to be tuning in live. They're going to be able to see it live, right? Um, at their TVs at home. I'm happy that they're at home so they can stay safe, not being in a giant crowded space with the whole COVID thing. So I'll be okay. And I'm sure that they'll be happy too. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. And how do you prepare for somebody with the level of experience of Julia Budd going almost a decade undefeated before she met up with Cyborg? Uh, you know, just one day at a time, you know, in the gym. Uh, luckily, she's got a lot of footage out there, so I could watch a lot of her fights. But, you know, you never know what to expect. Everybody could come in the cage and anything can happen. So, um, you know, just in the gym, doing everything I can since I was able to go back to the gym <laughs> that I could. Do you feel that you were a little underrated before going into that fight with Talita Noguera? It seems like a lot of people picked your, her, your opponent for that fight instead of you. Hey, you know what? I train an underdog. What can I say? I guess uh, between my gym, IMBCT and underdog, I tend to, my footage hasn't really been out there from all the fights that I have had. Um, I've been in the game for 11 years. I'm well-rounded, but I'm where I need to be right now. So if I keep working hard, um, I'll be, I'll, you know, it'll, it'll eventually show. <laughs> all right. One last thing. Sorry about that, Steve. Go ahead. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. The last question I had was, where did you get that nickname, the Widowmaker, from? Um, originally, some of the guys in the gym said because I was a pretty tough chick, um, but it's actually personal to me. A lot of my family members and sponsors have had or have had issues with heart attack, the Widowmaker heart attack. Te technically, um, it's unsurvivable. You will die if you get, you know, the Widowmaker heart attack, but a lot of my family has survived and have uh, had some issues with the Widowmaker and they survived, but in the cage, you're not going to survive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jesse, thank you for your time. Have a good fight on Friday. Thank you. Our next question will go to Dimitri Kagan. Your line is live. Hey, I just want to know, how do you feel going into this fight? Um, being the underdog, do you feel like you have something to prove, even though it looks like you're ranked higher than Julia? Um, do you feel like you have something to prove? And what is your game plan to you know, make your statement? Uh, I'm going to put on a show. I'm uh, definitely going to, um, after, especially everything with COVID, you know, there's just even a more appreciation for being able to have and be part of this event right now. Um, after everything that's gone on, we didn't even know if anything was going to happen with fighting with Bellator, with even be, being able to wrestle or touch each other in a gym ever again. So um, I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to show what I've been training for since I've ever started. Awesome. Thank you. That was it for me. Our next question will go to Kevin Shajan. Your line is live. Hey, Jesse, how are we doing? Uh, uh, so, so your last two wins have been uh, split decisions. Uh, are you trying to, you know, have a finish or a submission to, you know, emphasize, hey, you know, I'm not, I'm not too far away from Cyborg? Hey, you know, I got to say, I think everyone, when we go into any fight, we want to finish. Anybody, we want to finish probably right off the bat so we can go, you know, enjoy our day the rest of the day. But um, anything can happen. Uh, my game plan, I got a good game plan going in. Um, and uh, no matter what happens, I'm going to be ready for it. So, okay, if you do capture the win on uh, this uh, Bellator 244, how far away do you think you are from a title shot? Um, you know, I don't see it not being the next or so opportunity. I, I'll put it, I'll fight whoever Bellator puts in front of me, put it that way. But if it is a title shot next, I will be ready to plan for it. Are you trying to uh, run the fight with Leslie Smith about the about that got canceled back in March? Sorry, what was that? Could you repeat the question again? Sure. The Leslie Smith fight, the one that got canceled in March. Do you want to run that back possibly with her? 
Um, hey, I'm, I'm open to anything, to be honest. I think that Bellator has stacked the 145 pound division right now. They've got a lot of great fighters. If they put Leslie Smith in front of me, I'll fight Leslie Smith. If they put Cyborg in front of me, I'll fight Cyborg. I've already done five five minute rounds with Charmaine Tweet up in Canada. So I'm ready for the 25 minutes, regardless if that's how far we gotta take it. So whatever happens, um, I'm down. Next question from Jay Anderson. Hey, thanks very much. And, uh, you know, I know we talked about it a little. You did surprise a lot of people with the Nogueira win, I think. What was the reaction to that win like uh, online from the fans and so forth? You know, uh, just like uh, the question before, uh, a lot of people see me as the underdog for every fight I go into, I guess. So at the end of the day, uh, more power to them to th see me as the under underdog and uh, better for me for the upset for them to be like, oh, my God, who is this person and what just happened? And you mentioned the uncertainty uh, that came about because of the pandemic. How difficult was it to put together a normal training camp or as close to normal as you could get for this fight? Uh, definitely different. Um, you know, it was it was a little bit harder, but there's always there was always a way to make accommodations. A lot more personal responsibility. My coach has always uh, my coaches have always talked about homework. You know, when we're in the gym, we're in the gym, and we're at home, we should be doing our you know shadow boxing and working out. And uh, I paid way more attention and did way more of that this time around because there wasn't any time in the gym. <laughs> I, I was going to ask just that if you had any time in the gym. Do you have like a home gym set up or anything like that? Yeah, and, and we, you know, eventually gyms did open, so I have had uh, a couple weeks now, but for there was a couple months where it was a little hard, so. And last one for me, I mean, this is obviously a big fight. Were you surprised at all when Julia's name was offered, given she was, uh, you know, recently the champion? Uh, not surprised, I mean, surprised that it might have been as of right now in this time, time, timing, but I was pushing to fight her at some point regardless. All right, best of luck this Friday. Thank you. All right, we'll take two more with Connor Northrup next. Hey, Jesse, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. Uh, now, you know, you talk a lot about the underdog status and, and things like that, and it sounds like you kind of embrace that. But at, at this point, too, like uh, fighting someone that has, you know, Julia and like her history with the promotion as well, uh, is this kind of like a almost like a, a, you know, nothing to lose, everything to gain situation for you? Um, Somewhat, I guess, but I, you know, I... For me, it's just uh, also mentally, like, I've go I'm going into this fight a lot more confident in my game, just being so much time in now. Um, I just, you know, I want to put it all out there. I want to put on a show for everybody, and I want to get the job done. Yeah. Without too many details, too, I mean, just where do you feel like you've made the biggest jump since that Noguera fight? Uh, you know, a lot of just in the gym, being like uh, before I was saying, just more appreciation of uh, mentally, my mental game, just kind of seeing uh, game planning. It's not just, you know, who's, the, who's in better shape in fights. I feel like when you're an amateur, sometimes, you know, the better person in shape might be the winner at the end of the, the round. This time it's, it's a lot more um, strategizing. All right, and our last question will come from Alex Bahunin. Your line is live. Hi, Jesse. Um, how important will a win be over uh, Julia Budd? And um, I, I guess it was kind of already alluded to, but do you think that warrants a title shot? Uh, absolutely. A win is extremely important, but mainly what I need to do is go in there and literally, you know, get the game plan that I have and execute the way I want to execute. And as long as I do that, um, then I'm, you know, I definitely think the title shot would be next. But like I said, it's up to Bellator and whoever they put in front of me, I'm down. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Jesse.